Implicit Differentiation, Part 3. Here we have a rather complex uh, relation to uh, find uh, the derivative of. And uh, again, we're going to, of course, take each term one at a time and take the derivative. Uh, we look at sine of 2y, and using the chain rule, we know that the sine of 2y is, uh, the derivative of the sine of 2y is the cosine of 2y times 2 times y prime. And then we have the uh, cosine of x, and the, the, the derivative of that is negative sine of x, so we have a negative sign here. Uh, the derivative of e to the y is just e to the y times y prime, and the derivative of x with respect to x, of course, is just 1. In uh, step 2, I'm going to get all my y prime terms on one side and everything else on the other. Notice that's what I've done here. And the next step, of course, is to f uh, factor out the y prime. And here we've done that in step 3. And I advise you at any point during this uh, movie to stop the video and see if you can work it out and then, or at least anticipate the next step and then check the next step. Uh, of course, the last step is to divide by this uh, uh, factor right here, 2 cos and 2y minus e to the y. Divide both sides of the equation by that factor. And I end up with my answer here, which is uh, y prime equals sine of x plus 1 over 2 cos and 2y minus e to the y. And I should make that a little bigger. Huh? It's not very big. There. There's my answer right there. Okay.